Young Turks, new sponsor, Squarespace. Go, Squarespace. Wait, is that a square? Jenk sent me the story, and it almost angered me. And I don't really know why. It's just, all right, I'll tell you what it is. So uh, one hotel called the Emirates Palace Hotel in Abu Dhabi has decided to create the world's most expensive Christmas tree. So this Christmas tree costs a whopping $11 million. Jesus. And the way that they got the Christmas tree to cost so much money is they decorated it with actual jewels. So there are diamonds on it, sapphires on it, necklaces, earrings, all sorts of jewelry. It, it, this it, Christmas tree is adorned with stuff that I should have. <laughs> oh, so that's why you're angry about it. I know why I'm angry about it. I was going to get into it, but now I see where the bitterness is coming from. No, in all honesty, it's crazy. First of all, the tree itself is so massive that it costs $10,000, right? Right. And then, of course, there are the ornaments and decorations that are not, you know, made of precious stones. And then on top of that, there was one jeweler who donated, not donated, but allowed uh, the hotel to borrow all of this jewelry to make this the world's most expensive Christmas tree. All right, so let me start by first uh, making an asinine point. Uh, am I the only one who thinks Abu Dhabi sounds funny? Okay, now we move on to real points. <laughs> okay, so by the way, this is in a Muslim country. A little ironic, okay, that the most expensive Christmas tree in a Muslim country. But they are more liberal than the other uh, Muslim countries. Um, so, uh, look, the b reason it bothers me is because uh, it's ostentatious. Uh, it like you know basically rubs it in people's face. Like <laughs> look at this. I don't know what to do with my money. I got eleven million dollars. I don't know. I'm gonna throw diamonds on a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, take that. Yeah, we're from Abu Dhabi, right? You know why they got Arab money? They do have <laughs> Arab money. It's true. <laughs> but yeah, you know, realistically, that's what enrages me about the story as well. Like you, you have people that are starving. We're about to do a story about how people in the United States who are suffering from AIDS can no longer get the medication they need to survive. Okay, and then you have this eleven million dollar tree in Abu Dhabi. Woo! <laughs> uh, they claim that they have a seven star hotel, which well, is. Made up. There is no it, such thing as a seven-star hotel. It is made up. And another thing that blew my mind about the hotel is that they were offering a package, a very generous package, of a seven-night stay for only a million dollars. But don't worry. Uh, look, they do throw in some good stuff, okay? Uh, they t will give you a chauffeur, drive you A personalized, like, Maybach that oh. you get driven around in. Okay. And they give you a personal jet. You know, with uh, you can travel to countries in the region, right? But you can be like... Please, chauffeur, do bring the jet around, right? And, if, and then you go to what, uh, you know, you, you know, some where of Qatar, I don't know, uh, somewhere in the region. So uh, the other part of the problem for me with the Christmas tree is, look, if you've got really expensive jewelry on there on a Christmas tree, it's going to fall. Oh, or someone's going to steal it. Right. I mean, <laughs> first of all, they better have guards like... They better have snipers on the rooftops of that tree, because people are going to be like backing into that tree, like, not a big deal, and then run. <laughs> okay, um, uh, but and then second of all, look, you know when you put stuff on a Christmas tree, it falls, it, it falls in the cracks, and you never find it again. Like it's your like your other pair of socks. You right. just you know. And what are they going to do? They're going to search through this forty foot tree to f to find like the hidden diamonds. So the that's why diamonds. they're going to lose X amount of money. Like if it's $11 million, oh, you know, at the end we lost a couple of things. We lost $450,000 worth of jewelry. What can we do? That's like the last thing they care about, though. I mean, so that's why the ostentatiousness of it drives me crazy. And when I first saw the story, I thought they meant the tree itself. And I was like, damn, how good could a tree be? They're like, no, no, you don't understand. This tree is badass. They're yeah. like, come on, I'll take it off your hands for $9 million. I like, no, fuck no. This tree is worth $11 million. New sponsor at the Young Turks, Squarespace. They help you build websites. They've got 24-7 support, and they've built some of the largest websites in the world. They have an iPhone app, so you can edit your website on the go. TYT promo code, 10% off for the life of your order. Squarespace.